Welcome to The Sim Hanger. My name's Mark. Thank you very much for watching and let's get started. Who would have thought some three months, a little over three months since I first tried out the Pico 4 VR headset that this would become my day-to-day, -day, my go-to VR headset. It's my favorite right now and I think it would be very fair to say I've tried out a fair few over the years. If you've already invested in a high-end GPU such as a RTX 4080 or 4090 or similar, then I believe it represents best bang for your buck. If you haven't and you have a lower-end GPU, well, the HP Reverb G2 still holds that mantle. But why do I like the Pico 4 so much? Well, one, because it's wireless and I find that liberating. Two, the performance under virtual desktop and godlike mode is excellent in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And thirdly, it has pancake lenses. The resolution is the same as the G2, but the sweet spot is so much larger and you don't have the same degree of distortion at the periphery of your vision. I just really like the headset and of course it's light as well. But like every headset, it's not perfect. It has its faults. One, battery operated. The battery lasts about two hours, just over two hours in my experience, and then it needs recharging. And secondly, and I accept that this point will depend on the size and shape of your face, but I find the face gasket exceptionally uncomfortable. I've added three accessories, three things to the Pico that has changed it from a really good headset to an excellent VR headset. And in this video, we're going to have a look at what I've done. The most expensive and non-repairable component in your VR headset are your lenses. To protect them and prevent them from scratching, you should consider lens inserts with a blue light and anti-glare filter to reduce stress on your eyes whilst you're in VR. And of course, if you wear glasses and require prescription lenses, well, they can beat that as well. I have a set for my Pico 4, which I got from a company, VR Wave. My lens inserts are prescription and include both blue light and anti-glare filter. I've had lens inserts from VR Wave previously for my Reverb G2, and the lenses for the Pico 4 certainly don't disappoint. The lenses are individually marked left and right, which is important as my prescription is different for both eyes, and they're held in place magnetically, which makes fitting the lenses an absolute doddle. Their shape conforms to the shape of the lenses, and held by the magnets, they simply snap into place, held in place by the three magnets on the lens inserts. The fitting is simple and certainly secure. They're not going to fall out or slip and slide. But perhaps the most important feature, and why I chose VR Wave, look how thin they are. And with lenses, of course, well, it's just so much more comfortable. The blue light filter is often overlooked. All electronic devices emit a blue light. And as your eyes are so close to the lenses, this can make your eyes tired and potentially more prone to motion sickness. The anti-glare filter, of course, well, I think that's self-explanatory. And if you've got happy eyes, well, you're more comfortable in VR generally. VR Wave, link in the notes below, are an established supplier of lens inserts, both prescription and blue light and anti-glare filters. And as you can see, for a wide range of different VR headsets. And just a note, and counterintuitively, it's your long sight prescription that should be added in on the website. The cost of my lenses, including blue light and anti-glare filter, with my prescription, was around 130 US. If interested, you can get a 5% discount using the code SIMHANGER exactly as shown on screen. And note the link is not affiliated. To improve the comfort, I replaced the face cushion or face mask with one from AMVR. And it was a substantial improvement. So much so, I'd say it's the most comfortable VR headset I've worn to date with its pleather face cushion and vented design that helps it stay cool. Fitting it was a simple case of simply removing the one that comes with the headset and push and clip on the AMVR face gasket. And quite frankly, you're done. You're ready to go. 
and also assists in cutting out any light leakage that you experienced. If you want to know more, see my review video, links as always in the notes below. As a flight simmer being limited to two hours in VR is just not practical. And the best solution I found was from Bobo VR. I've been using this for over two months now and I must say it's a great solution without impinging on the comfort of the VR headset overall. Yes, you can get a cable and charge the VR headset whilst in use, but for me that wasn't a solution as it detracts away from the wireless benefits. In simple terms, the Bobo VR includes two small batteries which clip onto the headset, with the back support plate being modified to accommodate this, and in my experience, has extended VR time something close to 5 hours, which is more than enough for me. But it's more than just add-on batteries. It includes a wider top strap, which substantially enhances the comfort and compensates for the additional weight, provides a silicon option for back head support, two batteries, plus the charger. Fitting the back head support is fairly straightforward, and when you hot swap from one battery to the next, the headset doesn't cut out as the inbuilt battery continues to supply power to the VR headset. For more details, check out my review video once again, links in the notes below. Of course, adding third-party accessories to your VR headset increases the overall cost, but that effectively is the reality of the situation with just about any VR headset in the market at the moment. We're yet to discover, nay, yet to invent, the perfect VR headset. And what a cracking VR headset this has turned out to be. Just wish it had a display port, and it would have been closer to VR Nirvana than most others out there. But this is a headset providing you've got the GPU grunt, and a reasonable CPU can provide you with the performance that you're looking for, with better visuals than most other VR headsets, Vajo Aero and Pimax Crystal excluded of course, but they're at a whole different price point. Are you using other enhancements to your Pico 4? Please drop the details in the comments below. I'm hoping to have a full review on the Pimax Crystal in the not too distant future. I'm just waiting on Pimax at the moment. Well guys, I hope you found that useful and informative. Thank you, as always, for joining me and supporting the channel. Always appreciate it. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you all again in the very near future. And bye for now.